Welcome to the Science Kid. I'm your host, Quinn Friedman, and today's episode is the science behind the television. The television is one of the best inventions of human history. Watching something that could have been recorded anywhere in the world on your couch at home is just mind-blowing. But how does this expensive modern technology work exactly? The first TV was founded by a man named Philo Farnsworth back in 1928. However, back in 1928, the television was... Black and white. Ever since then, the television has been completely remodeled to become the super-fast, flat-screen color TV we have today. There are three parts of the TV. The sender the receiver, and the player. The senders are the transmitters. People working on specific transmitters will decode radio waves that will be sent by these big towers. Like we talked in last episode, transmitters will send radio waves to all televisions. The second part of our television, the receiver, are our satellite dishes and satellite antennas. Most modern-day homes have one of these things built into the top of their house. These receivers take in the radio waves from the transmitters and transport them to the third part of the television. An object called a tuner blocks every channel except the channel that the TV is playing. The last part, our actual TV, will take the radio waves and decode the message into visual light and sound waves. The visual light part of the radio waves are split into three. The three waves are red, blue, and green, the three primary colors. Each type of wave is transmitted into an electron gun inside the television. Like each wave, there are three electron guns. All three electron guns enlight beams of colored light into the screen of the TV. The three primary colors will mix to make every color on our planet. On the screen, there are rows of dots that play the certain color that the electron guns are sending. Each beam hits the exact dot because of magnets and a layer called a shadow mask that allows only certain beams to go through certain holes. In American TVs, the beams will emit 525 lines 30 times per second. Wow, that's a lot. After the image is played on the TV, a speaker will play sound waves that is decoded from the radio waves. I hope you enjoyed learning about televisions. Television shaped modern technology and is now used in airplanes, iPhones, and so much more. If you enjoyed, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe to see more incredible content. Thank you guys for watching, and remember, science can always be fun.